So today we're going to be doing a quick video on something that I ran into recently and that was trying to find a block and tackle. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, um, you can look them up, look up antique block and tackle because that was kind of what I was after. Couldn't find them. The closest thing I could find was a double sheave um, snatch block which wasn't really what I was after. I was, what I was looking for was the the style, the antique style with three sheaves in it. Um, and it's got a hook on it. So in the hardware store, I was looking around. I was like, you know what? I bet I can make one. When I ran across these two inch, uh, two inch pulleys. So what I did was, you know, went through everything and basically turned these parts here into this, which is essentially what I was after. It's a three pulley, three sheave um, hook on one end. The only thing I don't have is the piece that goes kind of from between these two hangs down with a uh, um, post between them that you tie an, the end of the rope in this end and then it would run down to the bottom to the pulley here up to this one on this side loop around come to the middle to the middle to the left one and here and then back out and this would be the end that you pull on. Um, so all in all this thing weighs you know probably three or four pounds each end but it'll take up to half inch rope um, I've got seven sixteenths it seems to fit the pulley a little better but half inch would fit in here um, and that's gonna give you a load rating if I could find my rope anyway um, load rating of you know a lot basically so what I'm looking at here, the hook is rated at 2,600 pound maximum. This double pin is 3,900 pounds. These pulleys are rated at 480 pounds each. So in theory, distributing load across each one, you're pushing almost... 1,500 pounds of weight. I mean, realistically, you can call it 1,400 pounds of weight. Um, so right now, your your lowest um, point is these pulleys. You're at 1,400 pounds. Now, if you go and you're running between the, these six pulleys, you're splitting um, your load rating down to your rope, six lines. So you've got six parts, six lines that you could distribute that across and you have 1500 pounds across six or to make it real easy let's see let's derate this down to say call it 1200 pounds across six that's 200 pounds most rope that's in the 7 16 to half inch you're talking like a 300 pound working limit so that's that's kind of where we're at on that i mean realistically rating wise you could put 12 you know, i 200 pounds of me could hang on one end of this rope and lift 1200 pounds in theory um, not going to happen, but that's the kind of mechanical advantage we're looking at here. So what I did um, is, as you can see, on the construction side, took the hook, put the pin, replaced this clevis pin right here um, with a 3-inch pin, drilled a 1-8 inch hole back to where it lines up, and then I'll use a hacksaw to trim this end off because I don't need it. Um, came down here and used a quarter inch grade number or quarter inch by four inch grade eight um, bolt to replace the clevis pins between the sheaves and the pulley systems here um, and then cut it off with a hacksaw used because of the spacing on these I actually added um, went with there's a total of three washers here three washers here and there's one washer in between each of these um, these pulleys you can kind of see these little bumps that stick out right here these little detents if you will I'm not 100% sure what this the purpose of those is but they keep these from being able to squeeze flush flush together so putting that washer in there is good but the biggest reason for the washers is when you put it in there you've got a little too much thread sticking out when you go to the next size shorter bolt you've got threads like this which I did not want threads against that pulley and the bronze bushing on the inside so that's uh, 
kind of a solution to this problem I had. I cannot find. Um, I even looked online. All I could find were eBay. They were wanting like 90 bucks for these antique block and tackles like I was looking for. Um, all in all, these parts ran me 55 I think it was, for these parts. And then you add rope in there, whatever rope you're going to use. So price-wise, this is you know new and it's going to work.